Hi guys, today we're going to talk a little bit about the RAT framework. This is the third of the frameworks we're looking at for this unit, and it's actually my favorite. It's very similar to the SAM R in that each letter stands for a different level of the framework. So let's take a little closer look. The R stands for replacement, the A stands for amplification, and the T stands for transformation. To get a little bit more detailed, if you look at this graphic here, when you're in the R level, or replacement, the text serves as merely a different means to the same instructional end. You're simply replacing something you've done before with something using technology. The A, amplification level, means that the tech increases efficiency and productivity without fundamental change. So you can maybe make things more efficient, you can be more productive in your lesson, you can maybe add more things and expand it a little bit that you wouldn't be able to do without uh, the technology involved. And T is transformation, where tech allows forms of instruction and learning that were previously inconceivable. So that's obviously where we want to go and that's where the most learning takes place. Now it's important to note that this isn't a hierarchy where R replacement is where you start and then you move to A amplification then you move to T transformation. You may find lessons you spend time in each thing. This is more like a evaluation so you can look at your lesson and say hey is this a replacement activity? Could I do something to amplify it? Is there something more I can do to transform it? Just kind of a check and balance to see uh, how you can improve your instruction using technology. Let's look at an actual example here. This is a social studies standard example from Michigan 2018 standards uh, 7.2.3. World War II analyzed the causes, course, characteristics, and immediate consequences of World War II by explaining the causes of World War II, including the aggression and conflict appeasement that led to war in Europe and Asia. So that's the standard we're looking at a lesson. We could have an old lesson where we said, write an essay about the three major causes of World War II. That would be uh, a normal lesson we might have done. If we were in the replacement level, we could change it a little bit by saying, write an essay about the three major causes of World War II using Google Docs and share them through Google Classroom. You see, you really haven't changed the lesson. You've simply replaced the paper and pencil with the word processor, Google Docs, and Google Classroom. If you do the same thing at the amplification level, you could make a new lesson that says, use the internet to research three major causes of World War II and create an online presentation, which includes video, audio, and image resources, then create a screencast of the presentation explaining your learning. You can see that you've taken that, uh, that essay and you really advanced it because now the kids are creating an online presentation that includes video they found on the internet, maybe some audio speeches and some image uh, resources, and then on top of that, they're going through the presentation, making a screencast, and explaining what they learned about it. That is an amplification of that existing lesson. For the transformation of the lesson, you might say that uh, the kids, instead of uh, doing the essay, are going to participate in an online World War II simulation using this particular website that I came across a while ago. And this is really nice. This actually has a lot of simulations where the kids are actually uh, participating in actual uh, learning while they're going through it. So they're uh, taking the roles of Franklin Roosevelt, Winston Churchill, Adolf Hitler, whomever, and they're using all these different things to learn more about uh, World War II and causes and, and doing some things. You can see right here one of the main uh, objectives is students then learn about the causes and background of the Second World War and of the World Situation Summary. So uh, something like an online simulation is definitely uh, taking the lesson and transforming it in ways that couldn't be done without the technology. So that's the RAT framework, replacement, amplification, and transformation. If you have any questions, please don't uh, hesitate to ask.